Differential equations are those formulas which derive how things work. They are somewhat more complicated than algebraic notations. Learn about them here in Engineering Math 5. Just what are differential equations or how do we distinguish them from algebraic equations? Say we have the first equation x squared plus 2y cubed is equal to 68. And then comes the second equation, the derivative of y with respect to x plus p of xy is equal to 53. The former has the variables x and y with a constant, but the latter formula would have a dy all over dx present. So, from the appearance, we can define differential equations as those types of formulas with derivatives or differentials. Next, by solving x or y in the first equation, we would be able to solve for the value of x or y. On the other hand, the solutions for differential equations are for the determination of functions. The main purpose of using differential equations is to determine the function of a trend over its entire domain. It is used basically in most activities in our surroundings, such as with exponential growth or decay. It is an essential procedure in different studies like physics, chemistry, biology, economics, mathematics, engineering, and so many others. Let's move further to the elements or parts of a differential equation. Say we have the equation L times the second derivative of I with respect to T plus R times the derivative of I with respect to T plus 1I all over C is equal to E omega cosine of omega times T. As learned in your calculus, the first term is read as the second derivative of I with respect to T. The second term has the derivative of i with respect to t. Those variables which appear with respect to another are denoted as dependent variables, so i is a dependent variable, whereby t is the independent variable. The other elements in the formula such as l, r, c, e, and omega are called parameters. The two general kinds of differential equations are known as ordinary DE or ODE and partial DE or PDE. Let's start with ODE. Take the equation, the third derivative of x with respect to y plus x times the derivative of x with respect to y minus 4xy is equal to 0. Take a look at the independent variables. In this example, we notice dy for both terms, so there is one independent variable. With it are dx, which we denote as dependent variable. In this case, for an equation having only one independent variable, we call it ordinary differential equation. Others can also observe a different way of writing ODEs as y triple prime, plus xy prime minus 4xy is equal to 0. In case you have noticed the following kind of equation, note that the first term y has an exponent enclosed in parentheses. This would denote that it is the fourth derivative and should not be taken as an exponent. So we read the equation as the fourth derivative of y plus 3 y triple prime plus 2y is equal to x plus 3. How about for partial differential equations or PDE? In case we have the following equation, the first term is read as the second partial derivative of v with respect to x, and the second term is the second partial derivative of v with respect to y. 
as how we defined ODE earlier, we can know that there are two independent variables in the equation and they are x and y, and this signifies a partial DE. PDE would be denoted by a squiggly D known as del to show derivatives. In some cases, a PDE will be written as this equation. The base is the dependent variable and the subscripts are the independent variables. Also observe that the first term has a subscript of x and another x, then y. The double x would mean the second derivative of the dependent variable with respect to x. So this equation can be written as, which is read as the second partial derivative of u with respect to x and y, plus the partial derivative of u with respect to x and y plus 5 is equal to 0. How about the case of the equation presented? Check that the first term has a dx and the second term contains a dy. In this case, we can do two things. One is to divide the equation by dx, making it the quantity of x squared plus y squared less 2xy times the derivative of y with respect to x. So y is the dependent variable and x is the independent variable. The second thing we can do is to divide the equation by dy. This would be making it x squared plus y squared times the derivative of x with respect to y minus 2xy is equal to 0. So x is the dependent variable and y is the independent variable. The question is, are we going to categorize this equation as ODE or PDE? Since there is still one distinct independent variable, the equation still falls under ODE. There are general types of differential equations that we would have to work on for the next videos for the course. One is separable DE. It has a standard form y prime is equal to the function of x times the function of y, from which the function of x is separated from the function of y, thus its name. For example, y prime is equal to x squared less 4 times 3y plus 2. The first term is a function of x and the second term is a function of another variable y. The second general type of DE is exact differential equation. It has the standard form of m of x and y times derivative of x plus n of x and y times derivative of y is equal to zero, where the functions would have to be a constant. The third is linear differential equation. Its standard form is as shown, and it can be distinguished from the other types as degree of a is parallel with that of y. In this equation, a of x and the succeeding terms are known as the differentiable functions, and y, y prime, y double prime, and so on are known as successive derivatives. The fourth type of DE is known as homogeneous DE. It has a form as shown. It is called homogeneous because the degree of the function of A will be equal with the degree of Y. Lastly, there is constant coefficient differential equation. This is the general second order homogeneous linear equation having constant coefficients. More detailed discussions about these equations will follow in the next videos.